As in carbon battery is a dry cell battery that delivers a potential of 1.5 volts. Although carbon is an important element of the battery's construction, it takes no part in the electrochemical reaction. The cell could more properly be called a zinc manganese cell. The zinc can is the anode and the source of high potential electrons and hence it is the negative pole. The manganese dioxide and carbon black paste is the cathode and the inert carbon rod is a non-corrodable conductor that makes the positive pole. General purpose batteries may use ammonium chloride and or zinc chloride as the electrolyte. Zinc carbon batteries were the first commercial dry batteries, developed from the technology of the wet Lecklem Che cell, and made flashlights and other portable devices possible, because the battery can function in any orientation. They are still useful in low drain or intermittent use devices such as remote controls, flashlights, clocks or transistor radios. Zinc carbon dry cells are single-use primary cells, since they are not intended to be recharged. History By 1876, the wet Lecklem Che cell was made with a compressed block of manganese dioxide. In 1886 drive, Carl Gessner patented a dry version by using a zinc cup as the anode and making the electrolyte with a paste of plaster of Paris to gel and immobilize the electrolyte. In 1898 Conrad Hubert used consumer batteries manufactured by W. H. Lawrence to power what was the first flashlight, and subsequently the two formed the Ever Ready Battery Company. In 1900 Gassner demonstrated dry cells for portable lighting at the World's Fair in Paris. Continual improvements were made to the stability and capacity of zinc carbon cells throughout the 20th century. By the end of the century the capacity of a zinc carbon cell had increased fourfold over the 1910 equivalent. Improvements include the use of purer grades of manganese dioxide, better sealing, and purer zinc for the negative electrode. Zinc chloride cells use a paste primarily composed of zinc chloride, which gives a longer life and steadier voltage output compared with ammonium chloride electrolyte. Manufacturers must now use more highly purified zinc to prevent local action and self-discharge zinc carbon batteries still account for 20% of all portable batteries in the UK, and 18% in the EU. In Japan they account for only 6% of all primary battery sales, and only 7% of all types of batteries sold in Switzerland. Construction the container of the zinc carbon dry cell is a zinc can. The can contains a layer of NH4Cl or ZnCl2 aqueous paste impregnating a paper layer that separates the zinc can from a mixture of powdered carbon and manganese oxide which is packed around a carbon rod. Carbon is the only practical conductive material because every common metal will quickly corrode away in the positive electrode in salt-based electrolyte. Early types and low-cost cells use a separator consisting of a layer of starch or flour. A layer of starch-coated paper is used in modern cells, which is thinner and allows more manganese dioxide to be used. Originally cells were sealed with a layer of asphalt to prevent drying out of the electrolyte. More recently a thermoplastic washer sealant is used. The carbon rod is slightly porous, which allows accumulated gas to escape while retaining the water for the electrolyte. The ratio of manganese dioxide and carbon powder in the cathode paste affects the characteristics of the cell. More carbon powder lowers the internal resistance, but more manganese dioxide improves capacity. Flat cells are also made for assembly into batteries with higher voltages, up to about 450 volts. A number of flat cells are stacked up, and the whole assembly is coated in wax to prevent evaporation of water from the electrolyte. Chemical Reactions in a zinc carbon dry cell, the outer zinc container is the negatively charged terminal. The zinc is oxidized according to the following half reactions. 
Anode zinc zinc 2 plus plus 2 E minus E degree equals minus 0 0.7626 V cathode 2 MnO2 plus 2 E minus plus 2 NH4 Cl Mn2O3 plus 2 NH3 plus H2O plus 2 Cl minus E degree plus 0 0.5 V There are other possible side reactions. But the overall reaction in a zinc carbon cell can be represented as zinc plus 2 MnO2 plus 2 NH4 Cl Mn2O3 plus zinc 2 Cl2 plus H2O If zinc chloride is substituted for ammonium chloride as the primary electrolyte, the anode reaction remains the same but the cathode reaction is MnO2 plus H2O plus E minus MnO plus O minus and the overall reaction. 4 zinc plus 8 MnO2 plus ZnCl2 plus 9 H2O8 MnO plus ZnCl plus 5 H2O plus 4 ZnO The battery has an electromotive force of about 1.5 V. The approximate nature of the E, M, F is related to the complexity of the cathode reaction. The anode reaction is comparatively simple with a known potential. Side reactions and depletion of the active chemicals increases the internal resistance of the battery, and this causes the EMF to drop. Zinc chloride cell. The zinc chloride cell is an improvement on the original zinc carbon cell. Using purer chemicals and giving a longer life and steadier voltage output as it is used. These cells are usually marketed as heavy-duty, extra-heavy-duty, or even super-heavy-duty batteries, and offer about twice the service life of general-purpose zinc carbon cells, or up to four times in continuous use or hydrain applications. However, the heavy-duty moniker is misleading in comparison to alkaline batteries which offer up to eight times the battery life of heavy-duty batteries, especially in continuous use or hydrain applications. Storage Manufacturers recommend storage of zinc carbon batteries at room temperature. Storage at higher temperatures reduces the expected service life. While batteries may be frozen without damage, manufacturers recommend that they be returned to normal room temperature before use and that condensation on the battery jacket must be avoided. By the end of the 20th century, the storage life of zinc carbon cells had improved fourfold over expected life in 1910. Leakage Zinc carbon batteries may leak. These cells have a short shelf life as the zinc is attacked by ammonium chloride. The zinc container becomes thinner as the cell is used, because zinc metal is oxidized to zinc ions. When the zinc case thins enough, zinc chloride begins to leak out of the battery. The old dry cell is not leak-proof and becomes very sticky as the paste leaks through the holes in the zinc case. The zinc casing in the dry cell gets thinner even when the cell is not being used, because the ammonium chloride inside the battery reacts with the zinc and inside out, form with a carbon cup and zinc veins on the interior, while more leak resistant, has not been made since the 1960s. This picture shows the zinc container of fresh batteries at, and discharged batteries at an. The battery shown at had a polyethylene protection film to keep the zinc oxide inside the casing. Environmental Impact Thousands of tons of zinc carbon batteries are discarded every year around the world and are often not recycled. Disposal varies by jurisdiction. For example, in the U.S., the state of California considers all batteries as hazardous waste when discarded, and has banned the disposal of batteries with other domestic waste. In Europe, battery disposal is controlled by the WEE Directive and Battery Directive Regulations. And as such zinc carbon batteries must not be thrown in with domestic waste. In the EU, most stores that sell batteries are required by law to accept old batteries for recycling.